Hey, yo. He said it. He said it. Yeah, we're back. But let's get to it. We're continuing the clicker class. I don't think we're going to beat the wall flesh stream because there's so many bosses we have to fight still. Back in our beautiful house, aka Thor's hammer. All right, so we got our first like official armor set from the mod. The only pre-hard mode armor set. Someone says, when you talk, your voice echoes and sounds super weird. All right. Testing, testing, hello, hello. If my voice does not echo or sound weird, I'm banning the guy. Testing, testing, hello, hello. If my voice is not... Ban him, ban him. He made me waste my time. Uh, first, though, we gotta fight Viscount. Not fighting Deviant. We gotta fight Glaciation. Granite Energy Storm, Buried Champion, Turkor, Star Scout. Like, that's a lot of bosses. And then if we include Le Lepus again, if Lepus' spawn comes back. Like, we still got a lot of bosses to fight. But first up is Viscount. Now, there's a certain way we're supposed to find Viscount. I don't remember. I've been trying to unlock all the tainted characters because I wanted to do a video with the tainted characters. I got to remember, next stream, I got to add in, like, sound effects and stuff. Because <laughs> you can do that now with the point system, which was either, like, the biggest mistake Twitch has made or the greatest feature ever. I got a lot of series on the mind. Spirit, Split. You know, we just checked out that Yo-Yo mod recently. That Yo-Yo mod is really cool. It's kind of a lot easier to just stream a series like this. You know, it's a lot easier to just relax. Like, I'm pretty much just playing the game at this point. Can you do Terry Sex Mod for my birthday? Yeah, as long as somebody releases it. Has to be legit. I'm going to make it a paid video, too. So you better get your, your wallets ready for that. Did you do a voting poll on YouTube? Yeah, we did do a voting poll. You know what everyone voted? They voted on the clicker class. They didn't vote for the spear mod. They didn't vote for the mod of redemption. Everyone voted for the clicker class. And we will enjoy the clicker class until... I don't have a problem playing with the clicker class. I'm just saying there, there was some uh, better choices in terms of uh, new content. But, you know, this is what majority wanted, right? You guys wanted me to get carpal tunnel on top of my, like, already fucked up wrist? That's fine. That's, that's perfectly fine. This is fine. I'm okay with the events that are unfolding currently. Pay someone to make the sex mod. I could. We could start, like, a GoFundMe. Aren't there rules about it, too? About Team Mod Loader, like, you can't make, like, a, se a sex mod or some shit? Some stupid-ass rules. I don't even know. Why, why is that even rules? GR should voice act for the sex mod. We could work on this. Kelvinite Radar. Summons Glaciation in the Snow Bind. Uh, we need Kelvinite. Battery. Okay, I know where to get a battery. You get that from the mechanic, I believe. And then Kelvinite. Okay, so we just need Obsidian. Not, not too bad. Not too bad. We have the auto clicker on, and it's like faster than it normally is. So we're like at the point where we're like pretty damn strong. You know when you get in that area, the end of pre-hard mode, and you got like some top gear that you can get. Like you feel pretty damn strong around this area. And then you enter hard mode, and then you get your ass beat by everything. Eh, it's kind of master mode hard mode. That's not really this. But look at that. This is a rare drop. I remember a series where we search worlds for this thing. Tell more stories, bro. The stories, be they, they're getting hard to think of. I wonder how much people make for hentai voice acting. I don't know. I'm going to have to look into it. I bet I could get a gig. Ah! No, my French teacher, she was always like, she's like, oh, after school, you should become a uh, a voice actor or a radio host. Let me see if I can become a voice actor for the next Elder Scrolls. We heard that thieves broke into the Arcane University, the Imperial Legion compound, and the temple all on the same night. Wait a minute, let me do that one again. I heard that thieves broke into the Arcane University, the Imperial Legion compound, and the temple all on the same night. Trying to be a guard in the next Elder Scrolls. That's my dream voice acting job right there. Now that house for sure squared in. Let me get a better look. Bro, it's Jonathan. Thor's hammer. You know when he places it on the floor like this? Because obviously he's not going to place it where the handle is. That doesn't make sense. This is the hammer part. This is the handle. And then this is the string. The string just broke. How many times do we have to teach you this lesson, old man? I love the young people. You know, I've been watching uh, Chippy's uh, Eternity Mode. Is that what it's called? Masso Mode? Is it Masso Mode or is it Eternity? I've been watching that. Kind of, I kind of want to do it. I kind of want to do a series like that. Obviously, I'm not going to finish it. That shit looks too hard, but I feel like people would enjoy the suffering. Perfect. Kelvinite Radar. And then while I'm at it, if I can, I want to make a Hellstone Pickaxe. Molten pick, yes, sir. We should probably do, we should do it like once every stream and see how fast I can find myself on Akinator. There was, it was also roasting me, saying I had like fucking yellow teeth and shit. That's fucked up, Akinator. What is the best item you have ever tested? Myself, and then for HIV. Why the hell did they they didn't give Frost Legion drops on 1.4? 
Bro, I don't know. We already know how ReLogic works. They work in weird ways. Somebody was like commenting that on the uh, yo-yo video. They're like, ReLogic really dropped yo-yos and then never touched them again. And it's like, yeah, that's the ReLogic way. They do something cool, one update, and then they're like, all right, well, whatever, this is done. Do I have that? Oh, dude. Banger music? Hey, hey. We're gonna use this one. They're beating the hell out of the drum in the beat. Not as good of a banger as the last uh, boss, I'm not gonna lie. The beat's a little loud. Oh, okay, hold up, hold up. This shit loud as hell, bro. Honestly, that took a while longer to kill him than I thought it would. What's in the treasure bag? We got a nail avalanche. We got a frozen stone. Look at that. That's cool. Grim pointer time. We follow it until it's pointing straight down. It's looking like it's in the desert. We do not stand for Casimir slander in the chat. Mods, you ever seen anyone talking shit about Casimir? You know what to do. Looks like that dude. This like new dude came into the Discord one day. And the first message he typed when he came to the Discord, he just fucking slandered. Casimir, our fucking lord and savior, our mascot. When in any situation do you come into somebody's Discord and then just slander? Tell us about the time you stole a van and crashed into Walmart. You're gonna have to tell me about that because it seems you know more about that than I do. Two more high school stories. No. Make up one that sounds like could have actually happened. Alright, so there's one time me and my friends, we were at a bank and then we stole a million dollars. This count. Wait, I forgot the thing. Yeah, it's fine. It's not a far trip, I think. Fuck, I really did forget the thing to start the boss fight. It's fine. All right, let's expand the boss room. That's our step one. Tell us that time you pushed the cripple kid. Not a true story. Oh, here you go. You, you got a story. It's not a high school story, but you tapped into a story right there. You brought up a memory. Um, I remember we were at Disneyland 2019 and it was the end of the day. We were, we were getting ready to leave. You know, everyone was just like hitting up the stores. So my friends were in the stores and then half of us were like outside just sitting down. And then there's this lady in a, um, what's it called? In one of like those carts you drive, you know, the ones you see at like grocery places, one of those carts you can get if you have trouble walking. And she was driving around in that. And then I like I seen her throughout the day driving around in it. Her her with her like little daughter. And then we were just sitting there, chilling. And then next thing I hear behind us, I hear Skrr! like a screech. And then I hear her go, ah <laughs> and she fucking went off of a cur a curb. Like the sidewalk. And it was like it was like a five inch fall. It wasn't that fucking far. But she went, ah, <laughs> and that shit was so loud. And it was like right in front of me and all my friends. And we were all looking at each other laughing. <laughs> we're trying to keep it hidden though. Cause she didn't get hurt. Nothing, nothing really happened. But like <laughs> all the noises combined together just made it sound like so dramatic. <laughs> and we were all looking at each other, trying not to laugh out loud. <laughs> and then after, after everything was like fine and she left, we were looking at the sidewalk or the curve and i'm like how the fuck did she get up there <laughs> like how did she get up there she didn't know she was gonna fall off because it was like you have to go up a ramp to get up on that sidewalk if you're in one of those vehicles and i'm like how did she get up there and not remember that she has to get off <laughs> we look we look at like where it happened and there's a fucking big ass skid mark <laughs> That shit was so funny. Like, I think she did actually, like, fall off of her cart. But, like, you know, nothing, uh, no serious damage happened. Like, obviously, I feel bad for laughing. But at the same time, <laughs> that shit was fucking hilarious. Like, skirt! Ah! <laughs> I remember at Disneyland, bro. Make sure you got some good shoes if you're walking around at Disneyland. So, I ended up getting some uh, NMDs. NMDs are fucking terrible. They don't have any, like soul support for your feet that was the worst year that was 2019 that was like the worst year i could not walk but like the end of the day bro like legit my feet were like fucking scarred from walking and standing up and then you know how like on your iphone you could check like how many steps you took i took like fucking 50 000 100 000 steps i was like what we were walking around that much and most of the time you're just standing there and i looked at my iphone i'm like what i was walking around in these shoes for that long that shit was terrible so like next time i go to disneyland bro i'm i'm bringing out the new balances i'm bringing out the fucking adidas boost I remember when you got in trouble with the Mafia and had to fight your way out of a shootout with Smithus OG and the rest of the Shark Gang. I don't remember that. Do I have a favorite boss? My boss when I worked at Target was pretty cool. 
<laughs> no. uh, Plantera. I usually say Plantera is my favorite boss. Worst teacher. Okay. So the worst teacher I ever had was my math teacher junior year. And I really just didn't like her. She felt like a fucking bitch. I don't know how people dealt with her. Well, most people got in trouble 90% of the time. But like, even when like a teacher is a bitch, you could still find like, you could still find some cool moments with them. She was a old, like race doesn't have anything to do with it, but I'm, Fili I'm half Filipino, so it's fine. But she was an old, short Filipino. And she was just so fucking annoying. The way she, like, taught people was so, like, stupid, too. Like, she was, like, rude, too. Like, so you don't want to ask questions and shit. It's like, what do you mean you don't understand this? So, like, during that year, I got, like, halfway through that year. And I'm like, all right, I don't feel like doing this shit anymore. So I would literally just show up to class and just sit there. That shit would be a free period to me. I regret, because I always say that I regret it, because if I took that class somewhat seriously and just, you know, didn't fail it, I would, my senior year would have been even, like, more chill, because that means I had to take math class senior year because I failed. But then at the same time, like, I really liked my math teacher uh, senior year. He was a cool dude. Made me actually, like, want to learn, you know? You ever have a teacher like that where you actually, like, want to learn? Like, I was actually, like, raising my hand answering questions when I was in his class. That's how good I felt when I was in this class. I was like, oh, this is easy. I got this answer easy. I remember like well, when I was growing up, I was one of the kids that, you know, I was I was a little scaredy cat when it came to roller coaster. But then like I remember it was middle school. We had a we had a trip to uh Great America or Six Flags. I don't remember which one. But yeah, it was like a theme park, if you guys don't know what those places are. It was like it was a trip and I was with the boys. And I think I've I rode like one roller coaster ever since then. And it was like a Tony Hawk 360 roller coaster. That shit made me dizzy as hell. Made me never want to ride another roller coaster after that. But then I was there with the boys and I said, fuck it, I'm riding everything. And that's exactly what I did. Shit up like conquered my fear of roller coasters that day. And I don't regret it. I love riding roller coasters, man. There's only one roller coaster that I won't ride and it's the fucking it's like you know the swing or two of them it's like the drop zone ones the ones where you're like super high up and you drop and then it's the swing ones the swing ones where you're just like on a chain swing spinning around those are like the only two roller coasters i still don't fuck with i don't know i just don't like those ones because it's kind of scary if you've been on ghost rider i really want to go to knott's berry that's the one place i haven't been yet like they got good ass food at knott's berry and they got cool ass rides in Knott's Berry. I'm trying to go. I don't know if they changed this boss or not. We're about to see. This boss, a little tougher if you don't open up the arena a little bit. So you can see it shoots this like bouncing projectile everywhere. But like right now I'm chilling. This music is bumping too. Turn me into a fucking bat. Never turn me into a bat again, you bitch. In eternity mode, they got all these like champions. Look at their fucking health bars. So next up is the granite energy storm. That one actually might be tough. I think the granite energy storm and the berry guardian are actually not too bad of bosses. Hold up, I'm getting a phone call from somebody. Let me answer this. <clears throat> My bad. Uh, it was President Obama or former President Obama. He just wanted me to answer a couple of things. You know? Congratulate me on hitting 300k. <laughs> Hello, uh, Game Raiders. I just like to congratulate you on 300k subscribers on YouTube. You sound like him normally. No, I fucking don't. How I would do sponsors? It'd be like 10 seconds, and it would just be me like, I like this product. Check it out. Use my code. Thank you, everybody. There you go. That that that'd be my like dream sponsorship length right there. I love refrigerators. See, that's what that's what happens though. You don't give me a script or anything like. That's the bullshit you're gonna get. I'm pretty sure this is an effort boss. You know, I gotta put some effort into it. I can't just bullshit it. And maybe I can. Let's do it. Oh shit. This is so bad. <laughs> I definitely don't have enough space for this. If the fight is like this, I, I think I can handle it. And then he brings these guys back and then it gets a little wild. Not a lot, not a lot of room for my head. Switch back to this. So I'm using this molten one or Red hot clicker because it does like AOE. Not bad. No, 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 no. Don't summon in anybody. You don't gotta do that. You don't gotta do that. <laughs> no, no more summoning in people. I think I had enough about uh, enough of them. Remember that time you stole a desk from school with a Brian from Family Guy? That was a good day right there. You know how like schools be having those like big ass like rolls of paper, like the the brown paper towels. Me and my me and my boy Carlos, we got one of those big ass rolls of paper and we put it in my friend's backpack. 
<laughs> and he never knew. So when he got home, he just had a big ass roll of paper. I remember we tried to do it again and he was being super sus. And he found out because he, <laughs> he kept on looking back at us. It was like legit a full one. <laughs> and he did that shit in his backpack. And he usually had like textbooks and shit in his bag. So he, he didn't even know it. But then the second time we tried to like put more and more shit inside of it. And he started noticing. He kept on looking back at us. And same friend. We fucking... We were in computer class during science. He got up away from his computer and we put porn on his computer. <laughs> and the teacher came back, she was like, what the heck, what are you looking at? He's like, nah, that wasn't me. We were in ceramics and then one of my friends, he had a, he had a, a hoodie on. We put shit in his hoodie. So we put so much shit in this hoodie. No, nah, we, we didn't put like trash or anything, but like we were just putting like random objects in his hoodie to see if he can notice. I think he noticed like right at the end of the day and he was like, what the fuck? I remember we used to like get like a random like slab of clay in ceramics and then we would put it in the, uh, the kiln room which is where they like smelt the ceramics to make it hard. And then we got like a big ass slab of clay and then we would write people's names on the piece of clay and make it, make it feel like they just put that in there to get uh, smelted. And then the teacher, she would come out with this big ass slab of clay and she's like, she would go up to the person we put the name of it on. And she's like, why are you trying to smelt this? And they would get in trouble. That shit was hilarious. All right, I'm gonna give you guys one evil story, okay? One evil story, and then I'm gonna end the stream off. So I remember this one time I found, <laughs> I remember this one time I found a piece of gum, okay? It was a piece of gum that was just on the floor. It was, it was wrapped up. It was just on the floor, wrapped up. And then it was like stepped on, like kicked around. <laughs> I remember I picked it up. I walked up to someone. I'm like, hey, you want some gum? And they're like, where the fuck did you get gum from? And I'm like, oh, I just, I just have it. <laughs> and they're being super sus. <laughs> they're like, bro, you probably got this shit from the floor or something. I'm like, what? Why the fuck would I be carrying around gum from the floor? <laughs> and they're like, all right, whatever, I'll take it. And they took that shit, they put it in their mouth. They didn't expect anything. <laughs> they were just chewing away. And I turned around. I had to. I had to go like to the corner because I was like, "Can die." <laughs> I'm like, "This dude really just ate gum I found on the floor." <laughs> nah, I never tell told that person. The funny thing is, I still know this person <laughs> till today. We'll stream again soon. I'm trying to do a couple of streams before uh, I leave to LA. I will see y'all next time. Though.